So, so I'm interested to know if it's e if you're even able to sort of crunch this one down because it's a, it's a big question, but it's a very bespoke thing, whatever that faith is. And I'm still working out how I talk about what my belief system is, but I know that I believe and I feel at times supported, guided, all those things. How how would how would you describe your faith and how it helps you move through life? <clears throat> My faith is the way I have moved through life. It has been the foundation of my recovery. It's been the foundation of my resilience. It's been the foundation of my strength. Uh, I can speak to it with a story. So for the past 16 years, I've been a spiritual teacher, but for the past 42 years, I've been in the pursuit of strengthening my faith, whether I realized it or not. And faith to me means that there's an ever-present energy of love within me and around me, guiding me and supporting me no matter what happens in my life. And that it's always there, even in the tough stuff. And three months ago, I was five and a half months pregnant, as you know. And I had spent a year, all of 2020, doing IVF, did nine, eight or nine rounds of, of IVF. Didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. Finally, I, I intervened and asked for a different way and we, and it worked. And I got this perfect little boy embryo, one embryo. And I kept saying, all you need is one. All you need is one. He was, he was tested. He was absolutely chromosomally perfect. Pregnant with him for five and a half months. And then at my 20 week scan, we realized that he was not growing. He wasn't getting what he needed from my body. My, my placenta wasn't working for him. And so I had to do a DNA and I had to let him go. In the, we, the, first of all, that was my first experience of extreme grief like this. And it was the, all the humanness came up, of course, of just like horrific upset and just complete, you know, just to my knees. But very, very quickly, this energy came over me of this is what we've been training for, Gabby. And this pillow of faith that I fell into with this incredible knowing that there was great lessons and learning in this experience, a great opportunity for my husband and I to get even closer, to decide no longer. For me, I made a, I had a quantum shift. I just decided I'm not going to sweat the small stuff anymore. Because when you get to the big stuff, it's like, what was all that small shit about? I made a commitment to just give my heart and my soul to my family even more than I had before. And I also just stayed in my, my faith was so loud. It was like the soul is coming back in a way that may be different than you expected. And I just, I know that. And I believe that that's because I've strengthened my connection to a spiritual realm beyond my own, to the connection of that, that, inner knowing and inner guidance system that can be so soothing to my system. And I am just really proud to say that the years and years that the decades of counsel that I have given to other women who have been in that situation, even when I had never experienced it, were absolutely correct. Because when I got to where I was in that situation, it worked. And when I say it worked, it means that I was able to, I am able to continue to move through this grief with grace and most importantly, a strength and faith that there's something else on the way and that there was great learning and opportunity in that experience.